My name is Arif, Arif Salim. I'm a year 10 pupil at Byron College, Athens, Greece. Byron College is a British international school in the northern suburbs of Athens, with pupils and teaching staff from many different cultures, from Asia and Middle East to Africa and Europe. One major thing in our school is diversity. Definitely diversity. This is my class, year 10 chemistry. Now, it all started when our chemistry teacher spoke to us about the Kobe's Young Scientist Film Award. I had to come up with a great idea for it, and I did. As I looked at the orange tree in the playground, I thought, yes, but if I can generate electricity out of food and power my fine idea, the electrochemical disco. We started investigating at once. We remembered our chemistry teacher teaching us about electrochemical cells and batteries. All we needed were some galvanized with zinc wire cut into pieces and some strips of copper. First we tested a lemon by inserting those electrodes in it. We produced a surprising voltage of 0.94 volts. Then we moved on to test a grapefruit, an orange, even a potato. We had to find the fruit that produces the strongest current. And we did. It was a good old lemon. Then we remembered. Our lesson on how greater surface area increases the rate of reaction. What if we increase the surface area of the electrodes by using a copper coin instead of a wire? It worked! The voltage produced was slightly higher than before. Then physics came into the game, connecting electric cells in series to add up their voltages. Six lemons in series produced an amazing voltage of 5.7 volts. Will this be enough to light up LEDs connected in series now, like our physics teacher taught us? We had made it. Light out of lemons. What about the sound? Six lemons in series and a small buzzer? Amazing! With the use of some video editing, our electrochemical disco came into light. If you think about it, all the sound and light that you see was produced using lemons. Good old lemons. Bye.